Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just saw this terminal, and we're going to check what is described within. There we go, now I get the word. It's the Sierra Madre. Hmm, I wonder where that is. I heard one of the execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock in the innovative toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of a joke seems, sends a chill up down my spine. I keep getting the directions wrong. Yeah, if I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of those Y-17 auto docks here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for those trauma suits alone makes me wish they erased their research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside them. That's kind of rude. The Y-17 trauma harness. Testing results has succeeded beyond our wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah, about that. The test harnesses were able to take over the motor functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. We'll have to see what develops once it's recorded enough neuro-automuscular movements to display a wider range of behaviors. To think, if they could be programmed to replicate a wearer's shooting or fighting reflexes, we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. We're just basically unmanned suits. Some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suit remains problematic. Still, the little Yangtze subjects could hardly protest once inside the harness, considering they're slaves, basically. If a home base is not designated, the suit enters an unpredictable wander state. That explains why some of them end up randomly in different parts of the whole big empty. And as we discovered while calibrating injury levels, the suit sensors are unable to recognize when the wearer is dead. Luckily, autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty recovery. That's... that's great to know. Okay. So, uh... Yeah. It looks like a computer screen, but it's not. We pretty much explored the entirety of this place and found what use we could get out of it. So now we're going to leave. Whoa! I passed through a wall there. That was weird. Is that a... That's a stealth boy. Why the hell is there a stealth boy down here? Anyway, we need the uh, enhanced capabilities of the uh, this thing before we're able to get in there. I'm actually surprised I was able to hit that as quickly as I did. Usually it screws up a little bit. I'll take those. Alright, and we'll head back to the sink. Our, our home base, if you will. Get that all done and over with. In hardcore mode, drinking water is vital to keeping your hydration level down. Which we almost went a little bit over a bit ago. Because, uh... All the booze and whatnot. But now we have the uh, auto dock. We don't need to be downing booze as much to deal with the addiction. Now, if only that was true in real life. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have my problem pretty much figured out. <laughs> uh, kid. It's not a problem. <laughs> really. There we go. Now we'll go into the sink, considering the, uh, oh, I guess I was moving a little bit before I even realized. Might I be of service, sir? Yes, yeah, I need to repair some things, particularly this, and this, and, yeah, I don't really need to repair that. I can repair that with whatever I got on me, and Might I be of service? we'll buy some things. Whoa, what did you say? I didn't quite catch that. Oh well. Not really worth it to find out. Ooh, I'll take those. Those are good. Always. Forever good. Hmm. Now for the jacketed hollow points, uh, do a target damage threshold times two. The damage is pretty much 1.65. I mean, it seems kind of good, but it's not actually worth all the expenditure and whatnot. So that's the main reason why I'm against getting higher up rounds of the 
12.7. Just so you're all aware. Uh, energy cells, I need those. I keep selling them off because I'm stupid, but I need them. Not junk food. Really don't need that. Not as much. Uh, microfusion cell, don't really need that. Egg, don't need. The blood, we do need. That we do. And we need that for repairing stuff. And there's a lot of stuff I have. I just can't find it right now. Uh, satellite fist. Yeah, we'll sell that. Um, hmm, hmm. We could sell that. I mean, we don't really need it. So I might as well sell it. Yeah, there we go. Call that good. All good stuff. And sink auto dock. Uh, there we go. How about that? Old auto dock's back online. Well, all right. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Sounds good. You are, without a doubt, the healthiest son of a bitch I've ever seen wandering the big empty. Ain't got no use for an old digital sawbones like me. Well, I... Can you do anything beyond healing me? Well, firstly, I would say providing wholeness of the body is service enough, but if you must know, I'm also programmed with cosmetical subroutines. Mm -hmm. Diagnostic says they're offline at the moment, though. Something about corrupted data files and all manner of such foolishness. <laughs> if you want a haircut or a nose job that won't leave you looking like a ghoul with alopecia, you'll have to find replacement discs for them. Well. Also, and I won't swear to this, but I recollect at some point having a few implant installation modules. Can't speak to where they got to, though. Well, I'd like to engage your services. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Cool beans. And let's see. We'll do a basic physical exam to get the addiction off of us. Uh, forceps, nurse. This man's got a severe case of shoe along. <laughs> you require uh, some additional services? Cool beans. And now we uh, will install implants since they literally do nothing against my implant count. So might as well. And extra damage to Cazadors? Fuck yeah. Go with that. Since we'll be seeing a lot of them forever, basically. Um, hmm, how many caps do I got? Not that many anymore. That, that kind of wiped me out a little bit. But, we'll get to see more of them soon enough. Anyway, look at all our little organs here. There's the tank with our spine. Without a brainstem to snap it onto, here it floats. Your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever it was placed there makes you feel stronger. Well, I mean, it doesn't look too different. That's apparently where the brain was. Based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume this is where your brain would be floating. It's currently missing from both the tank and its proper place in your head. But you seem to be doing just fine without it. Ah, eh, more or less. This is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications required its removal, and until your brain is returned, your, brain, your heart cannot be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, considering, you know, all the craziness going on. Did I have any other sort of tapes? I could have sworn I had some mood lights for the light switch too. Okay, so I need to get... I need to activate it first before I'm even able to get that far. Hmm. See what I can use out of this. Nothing. Not a single damn thing. Okay, but. But. I can break these down to make up more. That would be good. That's always good. Any. Yep. Come on, let me make more. I mean, I basically depend on these rounds at this point. And there we are. It's still not a lot. It's not a lot of lead, basically, is the problem. <sighs> okay. Well, at least we know what the problem is. <laughs> a lack of lead. Which is weird to say out loud. Ooh, yes. 
you can do that. Is there... Do I have... Yeah, I do have plenty of Wonder Glue. I just need duct tapes. Cool beans. I'll pick those up. And I might serenade, sir, with the dulcet tones of a light opera. Well, that'd be nice, but I'd probably get a, another copyright thing done for it. Uh, wrenches. I needed wrenches as well. I didn't see that because I'm a blind motherfucker, apparently. There we go. And that's two wrenches there. We'll make those up, and we'll be right as rain. There we go, and I'll dump the excess we got away soon enough. Now I want to see what I could do with the thing that I thought I had that I could do with blah blah blah. It, it made more sense in my head. Trust me. It made a lot more sense in my head. Um, that was it. Healing poultice I can do. I just need cave fungus. And Hydra. That's what we needed the Night Stalker blood for. Okay. And we needed that for the Night Stalker squeezins, which does nothing for health. Well, nothing for food and whatnot, so there's really no point. And... Let's see. What else could it be used for? Nothing, really. Nothing at all. Well, at least I know. Okay, let's go to... It isn't miscellaneous, right? Yeah, Night Stalker Blood. Oh, wait. That's not where I was keeping these things. The fuck? Okay, well, I'll take that. Whoops. And that. There we go. And we'll move them over here. This will be a little bit of a thing. I didn't mean for most of the episode to be this, I'm sorry. Really, I am. Uh, where is it? No, wait, this isn't the thing. Wrong thing. God damn it. This is for this stuff, which is duct tape, scrap electronics, scrap metal, surgical tubing, this, this, and medical brace, forceps, and that is it. All the healing stuff goes here. And that would be mainly the water because I don't need that much else of anything else. There it is. There we go. Okay. And we're good. We are good now. Alright. So where we go next is I'm pretty sure north. The northerly direction. To pick up something else. One of the other ones. Uh, yeah. That's not gonna be easy. <laughs> so we'll could just go around the uh, long way like Please this. Please avoid boom down for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved. Okay. Duly noted. And we'll see if we see anything on down that way. Nope. Not a thing. Alright, so we'll go down this way. Oh, uh oh. Is there any way to see where these guys are? Really? More trauma harnesses? Jeebus Lorenzo. There's so many of them. Let's see if we can take this guy's head off. Yep. Semi wad cutter round does pretty well in that sort of regard. Okay, that was a little clutch, but it works. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was weird. That did the sound effect for done, even though it wasn't done. Come on, damn it. Let me hit you. You little shit. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple more rounds in the head. And there it does the little glitchy thing again. Little sequency breaky. Little bit of a thing. 
Although it's not really sequence breaky as much as it is not making sense. So I'll take that. Uh, yeah, the laser rifle pretty much got destroyed there. Yeah, it, it, it pretty much got toasted. Very, very much so. Where's the... Where'd the other guy go? There he is, okay. I forgot. He had, uh, got over here. Nope, what is this? Scrap electronics box? Yeah, electrical box with scrap metal and a sensor module. Yeah, there's really nothing else there. And what's in here? Duct tape. Okay. Cool beans. We got something. And let's look in here for plunger. Great. Fan. Friggin' tastic. How the plunger get fit into that thing? That's what I want to know. And there's no way to get into there. Put locker. Has some good rounds. There's that. Oh shit! Okay. Okay, you got a caravan shotgun, so you don't really have that good of a range. Okay. It's apparently better than what I got. You little shit. Take this, you little shit. God damn it. There we go. <sighs> oh, there's another one coming this way. Fan freaking tastic. I'll take those. Nothing else than to just take them. And we'll see how further along they are. I'm just gonna uh, unload on it. Whoa, you just snuck up on me, buddy. Now you're sneaking up on nobody. Alright, let's... His legs are gone. At this point, it was just a mercy kill. And... There we go. You are gone. Didn't think I'd be getting that challenge with the, uh... Little devil. That's something. Whoop. Whoop to do. Take that. And we'll get this. Hmm. Attention, Lobotomites! Do not neglect to wash the walking eye. Um. Uh, that was. That was a reference to Venture Brothers, wasn't it? That was a heavy, heavy-handed reference. Holy crap. <laughs> that explains a lot, considering that guy voices the Venture Dad. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That is pretty cool. That's, uh, I hear something over there. Does not sound pretty. It's not sound fun. It sounds very mean and very nasty and very murderous. Towards my body, specifically. Yeah, I think we'll call it good. What is this over here? That's a broken light. And I'll look in the toolbox. Ah, oh, there's a wrench. Needed that. Call that good. Basically, have to do a full sweep because motherfuckers will jump up out of anywhere and everywhere around here. Well, speaking of which, nope, that's the wrong weapon. I think I disarmed him. Yeah, I pretty much destroyed his pistol. Damn, I'm not getting good on this. I need to get good. There we go. That worked a little better. I think most of my bullets were hitting the wall, and that was where my problem was. Um, hmm. 
It'll say caution sometimes, but there's actually nothing there. Or sometimes there is, and you're just a big old bag of gum. Oh! Took his arm clean the fuck off. Gotta love that. The light will let me see a little bit, which is good. And... Let's see what he had. Obviously that. Not a lot else. Okay. Man, this is gonna be some heavy exploring. Good lordy loo. Uh, this we're good. This might require a drop. Wait, what? Uh. Okay, let's see if we can do this without killing myself. Uh, boy. The. The fuck. Okay. Well, now you get to see what these guys look like. And why it's usually better to go at them with melee. Because if you're just sitting here doing the range game, sometimes they will win a lot more than you will. Luckily, I have the little devil on my side, so that helps a little more. There we go. And yeah, when you're doing the melee game, you have to run away or they will explode into a bunch of pieces and kill you dead. The Magneto Hydraulics Complex, which is what we were going to head to. I don't want the fission battery. God damn it, I keep picking up the fission batteries. Ugh. We'll head in here in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.